Okay, hey guys, it's me and Liddy and Bando. Well, he wanted to be in the video, but I'm gonna sit you right there. He's gonna sniff everything. Today, I have decided to show you guys how to make a type of dough. Kind of like play dough, um, except it's really fun. It's not polymer clay, but it's a dry out dough. And it's very fun and easy to use and really easy to make. And you'll have fun with You're going to need some latex gloves. Um, you don't really need latex gloves, but um, if you don't want to make a mess or anything, or if you don't like um, just getting messy or anything, I would... Um, I would say wear some latex gloves. And hang on real quick, because I gotta get the dog. Whew. Okay, you're going to need a sheet of foil. I got foil, we got foil sheets, but I'm laying that down so I don't make a mess all over. You're gonna need some all purpose flour or just some regular flour. A color or you can make it no color that it's um, good too but I like color um, if you want to add color you're gonna need a permanent marker or a regular marker um, it just uh, varies if you want white you don't need to you don't need it or it just doesn't matter hang on <sighs> needy puppy you're going to need a little baggie to store it in once you're finished. Salt. Different kinds of measurement cups. I have a one-fourth cup. A one to four teaspoon cup. You're going to need um, one and a half teaspoon. A little container so that you can um, work. And you're also going to need some old fashioned water. Now I have this water right here. Um, it's just water. Um, it's awesome and cool. The first step to making this is to put on your latex gloves. And um, I would say pull your hair back because um, you probably don't want this in your hair or anything, so make sure you have those on. If you don't have any latex gloves, um, you can use cleaning gloves or any kind of glove that you have, yellow gloves or something. The first thing we're going to do is start with the color. You may be asking, why are we doing the color first? Well, that's um, the reason why is because um, the, the way it won't work as well if you don't do the color first. But I'm going to do the color first in this little container. Get a bigger container so that we can add the rest of the ingredients. So I will explain how to do that in a minute. Okay, so to do the color, get your little, um, little itty bitty bowl, and then what you're going to do is take some water and, hang on, I was thirsty, okay. You're going to take some water, go ahead and take it out, do it like this. You're going to pour some water into this. So there you go, we have the water. Now make sure you don't care about the color. Um, if you like the color, make sure you get another one or make sure it's just like a crappy color or something that you don't want to use anymore. I'm using this green cheapy permanent marker from the Dollar Tree. I really like the color. 
But basically what you do is just take the cap off and set it in there and let the color dissolve and like just bleed out into the water and that will make a color. So it's kind of like when you're dyeing your hair with markers, like you know, you color it on, but I'm talking about the other way where you dip dye with the markers and sharpies and stuff. So I'll do that now and I'll show yeah, you sure broke my heart last week when you said you had slept with him. I know. He okay, so like, we took the ink out of the thing, the tube, and I uh, just put it all in there. You have to open the actual tube of the marker to actually get to the ink a little tube and you just let it sit in there and then or um, if you're wearing gloves uh, squeeze it in there make sure you're wearing a shirt that you don't care about I care about this shirt but I'm wearing it but I have gloves on see it is very messy see so yeah it's very very messy um, so now we got the color. Now, set aside the color and bring the actual bowl into view so that we can actually get started making the mix. Alright, so you're going to take your little cup here one and a half or one fourth of a cup see um and i would put two one fourths in there depends on how much you want to make i'm going to make two so i'm gonna put two yeah, you sure broke my heart last week when you said you now all you gotta do is take your one and a half to teaspoon now. Hang on real quick. Okay, I'm gonna take my one teaspoon here. Take Two teaspoons of salt and um, put it in there. So, yeah. Yeah, you sure broke my heart. You know your color. So what you do now is you're going to um, pour that into your dry dough for right now. Now that we've got that done, now we have to stir it and mix it until it turns into a dough. Stir, so I'm going, um, uh, but it isn't exactly a dough yet. So since it's not a dough, I am going to add, I don't know, one eighth cup or a little bit more so that it's just more of a dough because, um, this just won't make anything. So you want to make sure that it's enough dry and enough wet because it, it has to have a balance, okay? Yeah, you sure broke my... Now continue stirring until it is, um, a dough. Yeah, you sure broke my... Now that it, um, that your dough is already um doughified yeah um you're going if it's not i just sprinkled some flour on it uh, here and there if it wasn't very um very dough like so now what you're gonna do is put it on your little piece of aluminum now what i suggest is that you lay it flat and just 
go to your flour and sprinkle some on the aluminum just so that when it gets on there that there's just a bit of flour to keep it there and it won't come on so yeah I just sprinkled some on there and you're just gonna get it out onto the dough so I've already got that on there now this is the messy part um, that's why we have this piece of aluminum sheet here you are going to need it don't need it with your bare hands because that is what if it's wet and it's not good it's, I don't like that feeling so I'm wearing gloves so then you're going to knead it until it's um, more of a dough. So what yeah. Do you now it's very nicely um, kneaded. Um, there's flour sprinkled on it. And just knead the dough. away the sheet, then put it in a little Ziploc because that's, I like Ziplocs, they're convenient, they're easy, and if you didn't have enough money to get a uh, um, plate out, or you, just want, or you just wanted to make some, here you are. Now, Now, I think that, hang on, I think that it would be nice if you would get the flour off of the floor, and um, how you do that is you take a little rag, okay, and you just go where it is, and then um, just do that to get the plate, the flour off. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be sure to make more how tos, um, and yeah. So stay tuned for next time. See you guys later. Hee <laughs> hee. Go to sleep and blub.